So if you're having this problem right here after a recent Windows update, I don't know if this is just an HP problem or if this is a general problem. We have two brand new HP laptops. One, this one here, this problem happened yesterday and our other one happened this morning. So I finally, after waiting for hours with HP support, um, got somebody to log into my computer and fix the problem for me. I've been trying for hours, searching on the internet, trying fixes that I found and none of them did it. Um, but here's what he did. So we went to control panel We went to uninstall a program and we looked down here for the real real tech high definition audio driver. He clicked it, uninstalled it, went through all these prompts. We're waiting for it to uninstall. And I'm telling you, I spent hours um, reading everything I could. I've removed the driver several times, reinstalled it. I've been to Intel's website downloading drivers. I've been to HP's website downloading drivers, uh, following all the advice I could find um, by different forums, HP support, ran their HP diagnostics. Everything led me to the things I had already tried and none of them worked. This guy was in the computer for five minutes and fixed it. So, uh, so let's restart the computer. All right, beautiful picture of my daughter. That's my youngest daughter. That was one of her senior pictures. And look what we have. It has fixed itself. Um, before when it had the X and was saying no audio output devices if you clicked here on playback devices there was nothing showing um, now we have all of these and the speakers should be working let's find out Okay, sounds back working. So if after a very recent Windows update you've had this problem, that's uh, all you had to do. So thanks guys for watching. God bless.